Hello people that watch my videos, this is Tom Thousand Cosplayer, it's already very nice to see you all. Welcome to a very special video of mine, which I'm actually quite happy I can make. I'm here to today to present my Kylo Ren cosplay. Now, this is an interesting cosplay and an interesting video to me for a couple of reasons. One of those actually is the fact that I never, that I once said upon a time when the Force Awakens came out that I would never cosplay Kylo Ren. Reason being because, well, literally everyone and their mother practically did the character. And although I did love the character and I feel like I could relate a lot to him, I just feel feel feel, feel fine cosplaying it because so many others were doing it. Of course, and of course, people who are who are better at me than at making them. But for some reason, I, a few weeks ago, I decided to make it. And well, what everyone else did, be damned, basically. So I have here uh, my own Kylo Ren cosplay. I made it myself. It's not perfect in any way, but it's my work, and that's really the thing that makes me most happy that I could make it with my own hands and make it myself. Even if it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter to me. The thing that matters to me is that I made it myself. So of course I want to show it. Got my lightsaber here already. So I shall show you, let's begin. Although a little reminder, I don't have the wig ready. The wig is, still needs to be worked on. So I'll do this without the wig. And also I will not be wearing the mask. Mostly because I just don't really like wearing the mask. Not really in cosplay. I like in cosplay that other people are able to see uh, their face. Maybe I'll do the mask later on if I want to. But with Kylo, I kind of like to look better when his hair is all revealed because I don't know it just seems a little more interesting and you can actually read off his face. So I like that look a lot better. So that's really so no helmet here. But let's start the tutorial, shall we? Hello, fellow Force users, enemies, allies of the First Order, and general Star Wars friends. Once again, welcome to my Kylo Ren cosplay tutorial. So, just a few things to keep in mind. This cosplay was never really one that I was actually trying to make when I started. It was just an idea to see if what I was capable of. What I could make with what I got. And honestly, I liked the result so much that I actually just made something out of it. Like I said, it's not perfect by any chance and it wouldn't re and if it, w it would never reach real great status of a great Kylo Ren cosplay. But honestly, just like with most cosplays, if you... It's not so much about what the people around you think, it's mostly what you think. If you like what you have made and you are glad with what you have made, even if it's not good with everyone else, then th that's all that matters. What matters is that you are satisfied with what you have done. That's a really important thing in my eyes, but I've been rambling on about it too much. Just simple, if you are satisfied with what you have, then, you, then it's great, then it's perfect. So, okay, first starting, tunic. How did I make the tunics? Uh, it's actually very simple. Uh, I bought uh, black fabric at the market here, that's here every Tuesday. Uh, it's a meter long. I'm not that tall, actually, so it would fit just fine. It just comes, uh, it comes near my kneecaps. So I put it over my head, uh, both sides, made sure they are kind of even. Made, an in, made a marking in under it and cut around it so that my head would fit through. Then I glued the sides here together. Uh, you can, I did that using this, which is basically, it's fabric glue. I uh, used it to, put, to glue the sides together. Uh, you don't need to use fabric glue if you don't want to. It, it can get kind of messy, because I did it all on my own. But you can also sew it together. If you can sew it together, I would recommend you do that. I can't sew myself, so I use this as an alternative. And also I want to do it all by myself. So I really didn't ask anyone for help doing it. So, because I want to improve myself uh, in this regard, so to say. But if you can sew it together, I would recommend you sew it together. It's a, it's a very simple thing. It, I can sew, but if you can sew, I would recommend you do sewing. The cape. Well, the cape accommodates really good with... Uh, the length of uh, you know, of the tunic because it reaches to my kneecap and the cape goes all the way down. Uh, it goes way, way farther than that, so it accommodates that greatly. Um, just another piece of fabric, just bought from a store because it's also a bit of a softer kind of fabric. So it's uh, just it's tied with a knot around my neck right now, which you can't really see. I hope because I covered it up with the cowl here. That uh, yeah, the cowl is also made of fabric, but that for later. Uh, just uh, you. I'm not, I'm not done actually with that yet. I'm actually still going to, uh, with my mother, sew this onto the side. Uh, 
so at least the bag have on uh, to here so that we have at least had that it would make a lot e things a lot more easier in my eyes so uh you know just a meter with a meter it will do just fine the cow uh built another it's basically all i did it was using black fabric it was actually pretty simple actually but simple doesn't automatically mean that it's bad just use your creative intuition you can come up basically everywhere with just something simple like this but uh, the cow just uh, half half a meter uh, black fabric also of the same material as the cape and uh, just wrap it around your neck but make sure that it actually is kind of looks like that um, it took me a few tries to get it in this position but I'm going to try harder for the next time but just pretty simple actually it didn't cost much either uh, the belt uh, the belt is actually uh, I'm not really sure how you name it, but I actually was planning to use this for another cosplay that got lost over time, actually. Um, it was 25 cents at the thrift store, so I didn't feel I lost much, but it really fit greatly. And I made this emblem out of, uh, well, what I have here, actually. It's a uh, yoga foam mat. Uh, they work really well. They're really versatile, and you can do a lot of things with it. I bought this a few months ago. I still haven't made it up, so that's really good. They're only like... Uh, there were 6 euros at the Action, which is a very cheap store in my country. So I used this, cut out a piece and put it up here. Uh, I spray painted it uh, grey and, uh, and I painted it myself. Uh, for a small detail that doesn't really matter, I think this detail really came out good. Uh, seeing from behind, it's stuck here. I'm trying to cover that up and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But if I can, then what? And so what? Uh, doesn't really matter, it's not like someone's going to pay. take a photo from behind. You only make a photo for what's in front. I hope. So that's really good, but the detail is just really great in my eyes and that's why I love it. Plus, this thing fits better because I lost a lot of pounds. So it fits now a lot better because I could barely get it on just a while ago. To a few of the better aspects, of course, uh, I said leather gloves. Uh, just very standard actually. Uh, just look at any clothing store and you'll probably find some kind of. And uh, then of course uh, the lightsaber, of course the unmissable part of Kylo Ren cosplay. Just a simple plastic lightsaber. I didn't want to do anything too fancy because once again, it's my version of Kylo. I'm doing this for myself, not for anyone else. So of course, I will just want Kylo to cosplay Kylo the way I want to cosplay Kylo. Well, this lightsaber cost me about mm, maybe 10 to 15 bucks uh, at AliExpress. AliExpress are basically used for everything, and it's never disappointed me. It doesn't really give light, but I feel like that doesn't really matter to me because I'm not planning on doing something super fancy with it. But I do love it. It's uh, unmissable part of the cosplay so with that so with that in mind just re always get a lightsaber um, you don't even necessarily have to buy a real big one that really looks the part because that's mostly very expensive but if you can afford the money I would say do that but I don't have much money to spare so this is the best option you can think of for now so that was my short but still Quite interesting Kyron uh, cosplay tutorial. I'm actually really happy with the way this cosplay turned out. I never expected that I would love it as much as I did. So that's why this cosplay really has now a lot of meaning to me. Because it's actually the first cosplay that I actually really made myself. My other ones, uh, Hive on the mirror, was bought. Cat Boomerang was just modified over and over again. Which is not bad, but not really self-made. Don Thousand was self-made, but the biggest part that I made... Well, it was mostly with my best friend. I made it with my best friend, so it wasn't really made by myself. It was made by us most of the time. And yeah, then we have Lucius, which wasn't really made at all. It was just bought most of the time. Only the staff was made, and that was only a little bit. So that's why Kyle Ren also has significance to me. And I'm really happy that I got the chance to try him out now. It's. I really always loved the character of Kyle, but I didn't like it that people made such a joke for, about him, about him just being emo teenager and all. I can understand where the jokes are coming from, but I don't like it if you put such a greatly developed character and put him into scrutiny, basically. But that's just my feelings about it, which is also a reason why I didn't want to cosplay Kylo, but right now I'm definitely going to do it. Um, I've already met great Star Wars cosplayers, another great Kylo, uh, great Hux slash Rey. And uh, my ex-girlfriend actually does a great and wonderful hux, really great. And a very good friend of mine does also a wonderful Anakin. I'm, 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 I'm happy that I finally have a Star Wars cosplay because I was really always uncertain about which one I wanted. So, yeah, Kylo it is. Or Ben. You can call it Kylo, you can call it Ben. It uh, really depends. I mostly call it Ben just because to avoid confusion. But let me know what you think of my Kylo Ren cosplay. Uh, what would you like to see more? 
And if you have any, any tips or tricks for in the future, I would love to let, uh, know what you have in store for me. So thank you all so much for watching and may the force be with you.